Hey folks, how's it going? I'm Josh. I'm checking out James the Caster's Arch Enemy. Please continue to leave comments below, guys, because all our videos are based on your comments. And if you are subscribed, we check out those comments and recommendations first. We also have a Patreon, but if you cannot afford to donate to Patreon, that's all good. Just continue to leave likes, share, subscribe, and comment below, and that helps us out a ton. So let's check this one out. Move these subs, though. There we go. Please welcome this week's special guest, Mick. <laughs> What is Mick to you? This is Mick, and I deliberately tripped him up during the wheelbarrow race at my son's sports day. <laughs> OK, James, how do you know Mick? This is Mick, and for six months, he was my sworn enemy when a practical joke got out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, Lee. This is Mick, he's my son, and I'm only allowed to see him every second Friday. <laughs> 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 Sorry, no, that's not it. This is Mick. I once took him home from nursery instead of my own son. <laughs> so there we have it. Is Mick Gabby's cheated child, James's feuding friend, or Lee's traded toddler? Oh, this David's is going to be good, team, Where would you like to begin? Well... This is um, different. Gabby, the, uh, the wheelbarrow race, you were also a competitor. What, what, was the, what was the format of the race and how did the accident Your happen? classic sports day wheelbarrow race. Child is the wheelbarrow. I was driving my son as a wheelbarrow and Mick's mum, Barbara, was driving him. And um, there's always a lot... I, I feel our family gets a lot of pressure on sports day because my husband was an international rugby player and I, I did sport. And I, people always look at us as if they're the ones to beat. You know, I always feel that added dimension mm. of mm. competitiveness. Mm. You were a rhythm gymnast, weren't you? I was a gymnast. Yeah, I think yeah. they're looking more at him. Carry on. <laughs> 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 so we were in Lee, my Cold son bloody. and I. Mm. And, um, and, you know, in, like, in, in your peripheral vision, you can feel somebody coming. And as we got to the turn, they were level with us. And, um, and my son's arm buckled, and, oh, um, oh. which is, for a wheelbarrow race, is a bit of a... No, no. That's, mm. So it takes you a couple of seconds to recover. So now we're behind. Quite so... painful for your son as well. Perhaps that should be the main. <laughs> 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 Classic sports person. Oh. <laughs> no, no. We need this. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we got back level with them, and and I, I'm ashamed, obviously, about what happened next. Um, so I can feel, um, you know, these horrible thoughts coming into my mind. You know, we could take him out. You know, we could. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Come on, this is why we've been taking all the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I basically, I stood on, <laughs> I stood on his hand, and so on, I know deliberately. <laughs> you were thinking we should take him out. And <laughs> so, um, he he then slightly buckled. So he which then, is a no-no. <laughs> he got himself back into the race, yeah. and I decided that I couldn't let us win because of, that could be construed in some people's eyes as cheating, standing on the opposition's oh. hands. Yes. And in some people's eyes, physical assault. So <laughs> I, had to, I had to then sabotage us because I couldn't let us win, so I deliberately kind of pushed my son into the ground. So you assaulted two children. <laughs> I hope our story not real because that's not gonna look good at all. It's funny now, and now that you like you put in like the this probably isn't a real thing, but if it's real, that's gonna look really bad. I, I kind of just you know pretend to laugh, trip onto Ruben. So right. and then he, his arms buckle, double buckle, which is a no no no. no, 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 no. no. <laughs> and that meant R Ruben is your boy. Yes. Oh gosh. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. You know the oh. one. With, you know what? With the one with the face like. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Who would you like to speak to next? Okay. Um, James, so Mick became your sworn enemy because of a practical joke. That got out of hand. That got out of hand. Yes. So what was the practical joke or prank? First of all, I'll say for the record, before we carry on, I hate this boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nothing but content for him, and I'm furious he's got on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I feel I can only see him every second Friday. <laughs> The, what was the practical joke, James? He put cabbage leaves in my bed. How did he get in your room? I was staying at his house. <laughs> On a sleepover? How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a 
few years ago. Yeah, and when he wouldn't have been born. <laughs> he, was, he was nine. And you were, what, 31? <laughs> I was, what, 28? 29? Oh, no. And how do you know him? My, I know his dad. He's, he's his son. <laughs> <laughs> You were staying at their house. Yes. Why did he put cabbage leaves? Why is, what is, why is that a thing? <laughs> well, it's not a thing until he thing. started doing it. Yeah. <laughs> There's something severely wrong with him. I don't know why. <laughs> but you say st this kind started of started doing it. Was yeah. It, well, how, what do you mean? Start, this is a one, a one occasion when oh, you're staying it? there. Well, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> This is the first of many, David. So, you, so I said got out of hand. You I do not use those words lightly. <laughs> <laughs> so you regularly stay at the house of... <laughs> oh, no. Oh. This little man does not restrict these pranks to his own house. <laughs> he has no respect for anyone's privacy and will cross any boundaries available to him. I hate him with all my heart. Yeah. <laughs> So he initially put cabbage leaves in the bed you were sleeping in when you were True. staying at his father. <laughs> right? And then subsequently, yes. he has followed you and put cabbage leaves in other places you've been sleeping. No. OK? What then? He sent me a cabbage in the post. <laughs> He sent me half a cabbage, cling filmed in a box. I was out when they delivered it. I'd go to the post office to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> there was a note inside that said, You got cabbaged again. <laughs> okay. That would be the worst part of the prank having to go to the post office. I cannot stay. I'm not sure if it's just as bad in the UK, but post office is like so slow. It's the worst experience going to the post office. I don't get to wait in line and all that jazz. Jesus, great. So he, 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 he's doing that. Did you, <laughs> bearing yes, in yes. mind that this is a minor, did you at any... It was a major as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> did you at any point retaliate? Yeah, but it took me six months. What did you do? After six months of this, well, I... when you say six months of this, yeah. what is this? There's the initial cabbage leaves in the bed at, yeah. at his house, yeah. and there's the posted cab half cabbage. Yeah. Anything else? His granddad cabbaged me to my face. <laughs> what does that mean? He gave me a present. It was all wrapped up nice. I thought it was a nice present. I unwrapped it. It was another half a cabbage wrapped in cling film. <laughs> Members of the public started cabbaging me. I made the mistake of talking about it on the radio, and then everyone got the idea, and I couldn't turn up to a gig without there being a cabbage hidden somewhere in my dressing room. <laughs> Thank God you're playing safe and not saying it on telly, eh? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, no. Right. So, did you retaliate? Did I absolutely did. I removed all of his belongings from his bedroom and replaced them with cabbages. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I would say, a disproportionate response. <laughs> Six months of my life, David. Six months of my life of not knowing where the next cabbage was coming from. It was horrible. <laughs> I had to go big. I've been cabbage so many times. Somebody started a Twitter account was tweeting pictures of cabbages on me every day. They said stuff like oi oi savoy. It was horrible. <laughs> and that was just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> oh, lettuce joke. Okay, I got it. I Come just on, got it. Come iceberg some lettuce. Slack. No. <laughs> Anyone who can enjoy that joke about a lettuce would have to be a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> All right. On I was when he said the lettuce, I'm like, wait, that's lettuce, dude. Iceberg, what are you talking about? To Lee. Lee, remind us of yours. He this tried. is Mick. I once took him home from nursery instead of my own son. Why did you not recognise your own son <laughs> by using your eyes and knowing what he looks like? I, I, I do recognise my own son. But we had this new pram and... Uh, the pram, he, I put him in the pram. He was very young at the time, because, well, you have to, to go to nursery. And uh, I put a him in the pram. pram. At nursery? No, not a pram, a push chair. They're a pram push when they're, they're, when they're sort of tiny. A push chair, you make one mistake. You say, let's <laughs> <and it's laughs> go on your own. You say, pram instead of push chair. I get to see him every other week. <laughs> I put him in the push chair, right. and then I got chatting to all the other mums and dads and stuff. Got chatting, turned round. Little did I realise that one of the other parents had exactly the same posture. And because he was asleep, I just didn't bother talking to him because he was asleep. 
pushed him and got all the way home. Long walk as well, because he goes to school in London and we live in Aberdeen. <laughs> <laughs> when, how long was it before you realised? Uh, probably Glasgow. <laughs> Um, it was about, it was, believe it or not, uh, preferably do. <laughs> yeah, that's very much the question. <laughs> believe it or not, uh, it was as I went into the front door and I pushed him towards my wife, who was coming towards me, and, and she said, that is not my son. But the other mother would have recognised <laughs> yeah. her yes. child, so let's, let's go to the let's other go mother. Let's go to the other mother. Let's, so, what happened there? So, obviously, I'm not there to see the other mother. Because no, but I'm, presumably in the police interview later, <laughs> you've gone through those details. No, I knew it would be a bit of a nerve-wracking experience, so I thought I'd better play safe and just keep him. And that's what we did. We just ended up bringing up another child. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I got into the house, pushed him into the house. Yeah. My wife said, that's not my son. So I went, oh! I realised immediately what had happened, obviously. I turned round and I raced back to the school very quickly. So I got in just in time for them to go, what are oh, you? And then... So you got back, you got back just in got time. Got back in time. Just before Mick's mother was going to start screaming, so my child was... has disappeared, my child has disappeared. Yeah, because, no, because what had happened is she, she was getting a bit frantic, but someone had, had calmed her down by doing the obvious and pointing to the child and saying, think, use your logic here. Yeah, There's a child, child abductors don't tend to leave swap. a child yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. David's team, is Mick hmm. Gabby's cheated child? Maybe. James's feuding friend, maybe, or Lee's traded toddler. No. <laughs> <laughs> that the cabbages. No. That is a good trick because cabbages, when they get warmed up, stink. stink. Yeah. I also have, you know, been to uh, many a sports day where where the parents do get incredibly competitive. Mm -hmm. I would probably. Well, before they get, I'm gonna make sure I don't mess up like I did last time and listen to their opinion. I'm gonna say that it's um, I think James's story is true. I'm gonna go with James, because it, it it just sounds like it sounds like a prank like a kid will play. I heard of somebody doing that with potatoes, like potato pranks. They smell like they smell like dead meat or whatever. Like cause potatoes when they they rot, they stink really bad too. About doing that, sending people potatoes and all that jazz. So I can see a kid doing that. Probably lean towards Gabby. What about you, Melvin? Which way are you leaning? I believe Gabby, but James is just weird, so I believe him even more. <laughs> <laughs> your, your paranoid view seems to be the whole country's in on it. Now everyone's sending you cabbages. Every time people laugh at me, I suspect they're my enemy, which makes my job very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you no. think Gabby, you think... Gabby, but James even more. And David thinks it's me, so... Yeah. <laughs> I'm still gonna say oh, James. I'm know. not sure who would admit to the whole Gabby uh, story stepping James. on a kid's hand. You're going for James. I'm going for Mick. James, too. Would you please reveal your true identity? I'm Mick, and I am James's worst enemy. <laughs> <laughs> Got it! Yeah! Like, who would admit to assaulting a child? I don't think they would. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Mick is James's fooding friend, and here's the proof that. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a little Brussels sprouts. To oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Mick. Oh, no. <laughs> I love that one. That one was fantastic. When they're telling the stories, once they got to um, Lee, and his, stuff, his story was just so basic and plain. I was like, that can't be it. He, he, I, I don't know. I just, it just didn't seem like they were... That just seemed like... Uh, like To have such crazy stories about, like, a lady, uh, like, essentially, uh, like you said, assaulting two children, and then you have this crazy cabbage story, and you just have the guy who accidentally swapped a kid. Like, it's like... Compared to those other two, that's just kind of, like, boring. I was like, that can't be that one. And I was like, who will admit to, like, stepping on a kid's hand and, like, um... Being that... Like, I know there are sports parents who are really that aggressive. Um... I know I have a few friends who are really into sports and they like push their kids really hard too, which is not necessarily a bad thing because a lot of people they they sometimes being overly overly competitive is bad, but having enough um, being competitive gets you honestly gets you further a lot of times when you don't have any type of competitive edge, you don't really push yourself. Um, so, so I'm not knocking the aggressive sports parents, but they exist. So that's why herself was plausible, but I'm like, who would admit to actually like you know sabotaging the kid like on. I know this parents who could probably do that, but who would admit to it, you know? It's like, yeah. That's really cool, man. This is funny. I like the whole, like, the prank story. It, oh, man. That's funny. I like that. That's, that's, that's really, really enjoyable. That dude, that's a wacky guy then, man. That is a wacky guy who will go into, like, doing something like that with, like, a kid. And that kid is, that kid, too. 
Because I've heard, or like I said, I've heard about pranks like that where people do that with potatoes. They'll send potatoes in the mail. They'll make sure they send a snail mail so it takes longer to get there so the potato will be rotting before it gets to you. I've heard about that kind of stuff too. That's fine. That's great. I enjoyed this. All right, guys. That is all for this one. I'm really hoping that you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. Hopefully, you guys are um, having a good time or doing some good things or eating some good food or whatever's going on in your life. Hopefully, there's something um, is good things. Not all the negatives. It's so full. So much negativity is going on right now. Hopefully, you guys are trying to do something positive. We'll see. But it's kind of hard to get out of the muck sometimes. But hopefully, you guys are doing something positive. And I appreciate you guys watching. Um, and that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I feel like I need to say something else, but it's slipping. I got to get more caffeine in me or less in me. We'll figure it out. <laughs> that's all, guys. Um, hopefully, you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you next week. Later.